Well, hey there. Welcome back to Pinterest for Equestrians. My name is Lindsay Rains, and I'm the owner and founder of Hoofprint Marketing, Pinterest, and content marketing for equine businesses. I'm back here today to just introduce you more to Pinterest as an equestrian platform. In our last episode, we discussed, is Pinterest really a thing for equestrians, and can you really find equestrian topics, retail, and inspiration on Pinterest? So the quick answer, if you haven't listened to the episode, is yes, a thousand times yes. There is so much content, not only around uh, horse care, horse training, awesome horse facts, um, but just inspiration uh, for the equestrian life and anything that you could think of to search around um, equestrian topics. And not only will you find a lot of learning there, but you're also going to find uh amazing things that you can purchase for your next show. You can find breeches, you can find uh, show blouses, you can find um, boots, accessories, you can find horse care products, you can find amazing saddles and bits and bridles and all sorts of things. But not only that, you can also find inspiration just uh, for your barn, Uh, DIY tips to organize your tack room or to make your equestrian life easier and also just how to maybe plan a fun equestrian themed party Um, but no matter what your thing is Pinterest has something for you so if you haven't had a chance to look at the platform yet um, we I want to dive in today and just kind of explain what's there um, and how you can use each of the features on Pinterest So when you log onto the Pinterest app, you're probably going to see something called your home feed or other words, a smart feed. So in your smart feed, this is already a collection of things that you've either already searched for on Pinterest or haven't expressed um, interest in when you signed up for the app. Now, you should already have an account if the app is fully functioning on your phone. And you'll notice that the very first thing that populates is for you. So at the top left-hand corner of your smart feed, this is just um, a collection of things that Pinterest has picked out for you based on your most recent searches. Now, if you're looking at the top and you click the next tab over called following, this is a compilation of recent things that people that you follow have shared. So if you want to follow, um, see what your... um, the accounts that you follow have been sharing, that's where you'd want to go. And then from there, you can start to search for boards that you belong to, either that you belong to or um, that you created. Now, this is um, just a smart feed. If you look at the bottom, next to the Pinterest icon is a little mag- or magnifying glass. Yeah, magnifying glass, and that is your search. So this is a very smart um search mechanism. This is if you just type anything in, any keyword in at the top, then it'll pull up the most relevant results. So sometimes um, if it's really populated with a lot of ideas, for example, the the topic horseback riding um, has a, a lot of results. And so Pinterest will help you narrow it down. So it'll populate some top results, but it'll also help you narrow it down at the very top by offering other keywords that can help you be more specific. Now, Pinterest is very, very interested in giving you an experience that you enjoy. And so everything about the platform is about creating a unique and tailored Um, experience just for you and just for what you like and what might inspire you. So you'll notice a few of these features will uh, be kind of tailored around either what you've already looked for or how Pinterest could narrow down its search even better for you. Um, So um, Pinterest also has, if you look down at the bottom, it also has a, a little plus sign, which is how you add a pin or a board and then it has a little bell, which is your notifications. And usually that's if someone sent you a message, which is not very often, but it happens. And um, it offers you more inspiration in your notification center. And then it also um, will let you know when new people have shared things or have saved something that you have shared. 
And then if you go to the very right, you're going to see a little icon that should have your profile picture there if you set it up. And so if you click on that on the bottom right, then it will show you your homepage. And so this is your accounts homepage. So any pins that you've saved, all of your boards will be there. So this is where you would go back to find things that you've already saved or already shared. So a quick note on your personal profile. So Pinterest is kind of two faceted in that you could go and search for something or just scroll your smart feed and just find, discover something new. And then the other facet is being able to save it. Now think of Pinterest as a place with a ton of bulletin boards. Say you just had a ton of bulletin boards in your office or in your uh, kitchen just to save inspiration for later and they were all sorted out by categories. Now imagine that you had a bulletin board for inspiration for every aspect of your life. Recipes um, and cooking, uh, recipes for baking, recipes for when you're on keto, uh, DIY inspiration for those summer projects that you want to do. You can even make a board just for DIY palette projects. Um, you could make a board to redecorate your bathroom or to plan your husband's birthday party that uh, happens to be Seahawk themed, right? <laughs> you can do anything. And the same thing goes for horse topics. So I have a board that's all about horse care. I have a board that's all about horseback riding tips, horse training. I have a board that's just a collection of inspirational equestrian uh, articles and stories. I have a board that's just dedicated to to different inspiration, like lifestyle inspiration, um, equestrian decor, you name it. Um, I, I've seen people with beautiful boards that just have gorgeous pictures of horses that they want to look back on. So a board is essentially where you save anything that you find Pinterest. So if you find a pin on your smart feed or when you're searching, all you have to do is just press and hold it and you'll be given the option to either save it, remove it, or share it. So the little thumbtack is to save it to one of your boards. The the zero with a slash through it is to remove it from your home feed that tells Pinterest you don't want to see that kind of stuff anymore. And then the little bracket with the arrow is to share it with someone. So as you can see, it's very intuitive to be able to either save for later, to filter out your results or to share it. Now, if you want to upload your own content, so say you see something on a website, you can, if you have um, a a Pinterest extension on your desktop at home. Um, you can save it directly from a website. Um, if you want to add a new pin of your own, like say you created this awesome party that was unicorn themed and you want to save it for later and maybe share it with your friends, um, you can go ahead at the bottom of your Pinterest app to that plus sign and go ahead and add the picture. If you have it linked to like a blog post, maybe a family blog post or something, or if you have it, if you want to link it to, um, something else you can totally add in a url there too so um the beautiful thing is now you can share it to one of your boards and then your friends can see it and when there are a few different types of boards you can have so when you go ahead and create a new board and you can hit the plus sign at the bottom of your pinterest screen also and create a new board give it a name maybe pick out some pins for it. Um, this can be just for you. You can add a collaborator so that maybe you and, and someone else wanna plan something together or just be able to share knowledge together. You can invite another Pinterest user or say you don't want anyone to see it, you can make it secret. So that's the beauty of Pinterest. Every little thing is tailored for you. So uh, I encourage you, if you haven't already, go ahead and download the app, take a look around and then create a profile and then just start gathering inspiration and just kind of um, whenever you think of something just think huh maybe I could find that on Pinterest and I bet you you probably can anyways thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to catching you in the next episode of Pinterest for Equestrians take care now bye